I'd like to go over some quick tips when it comes to setting your anchor. Uh, the first one is when you let your anchor down, let it down really slow and do your best to allow the anchor to go first, not your chain. If you just, if you just chuck it over the side of the boat, your anchor is going to tumble and your chain is going to tumble and sometimes it'll tangle up and it'll be just a big ball of mess down there. So anchoring 101, just drop it down as slow as you can, which is another reason why I don't like to use that much anchor chain. I try to use this, the least amount of anchor chain that I safely can because when you have a bunch of chain behind you, it's really hard to set that down quietly without spooking the fish because this is course is set up for fishing and uh, anchoring while you're fishing. So you set it down softly. Now we'll just do it, do it naturally here, so I'm gonna show you. So set your anchor down, it's gonna fall. And then as you let line out, just kind of back up on your boat or in the current and drag it really slowly. Start slow and you can see this anchor here, falls on its side. And as you can see that bruise, it's on its side and that side claw grabs it, which is really cool. That's why this Bruce anchor does so well. So that was about a one to three scope ratio right there. Did its job. If it fell another way, let's just say it fell just like it was designed like that. It's really designed anyway, but if it fell like that, you pull really slow. And as you can see, that chain's lifting up. Everything's pulling up, but the design of the anchor is keeping those flukes facing down. Those points are going down into the earth. A lot of the other anchors, if you pulled up this much, it's gonna just drag on the bottom. <clears throat> so that's all I got right there. Pretty simple, hard sand. It's a great anchor, works good. Now, real quick, if you're gonna use one of these fluke type anchors, when you're setting it down, I've used these for years. What I found, make sure you set this down so slowly down to the bottom because it, if you drop it fast, this anchor will wanna go like this on the way down. And when it does, it's gonna wrap up on your chain and rope. This anchor sinks slower than your chain does. So your chain's gonna go underneath it and tangle it up. I, I'm pretty sure you guys have probably experienced that. So if you don't have chain and just straight rope, you can chuck it but otherwise let it down really slow. Another benefit to letting it down slowly is you're not gonna spook the fish. It's not gonna land on the bottom with a big clunk. Because remember, when it hits the bottom, it's loud. There's chain, there's, there's anchor, there's all kinds of clunk, 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 clunk. So set it really quietly down on the bottom, let it sit there and then just slowly drag off with it. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much it to setting your anchor. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. We do this through our premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.